what's going on guys and welcome back to another video um today i am doing a little bit of tuning but first i wanted to figure out so what had happened was is that i got a penny stuck in my cigarette lighter and it started to uh, spark up so i guess one of the fuses blew and uh so last night when i went to the track i couldn't even charge my laptop i couldn't do anything because the 12 volt and my little uh converter right here would it work so i was kind of screwed last night i only ran a best of like a 10 8 at 127 and uh i didn't have my manual with me so i couldn't i posted online but nobody um i don't think anybody knew where the 12 volt uh fuse box was or where the fuse was i knew it had to be like one of these fuses in the back so the crazy thing is, is that now that I'm, you know, today, I finally opened the book and I'm like, all right, let me go see what the fuses are. And apparently it's this one right here, but there's two fuses for it. And I found the F273 for it, but that one's completely clean. So I guess there's a fuse box up in the front, which is this one, which is uh, hidden right there. So <laughs> I'm about to see which fuse it is and hopefully I can get it fixed. Um, and hopefully that fixes my issue. There's also one, so if you guys didn't know, my key fob stopped working completely. I went to the dealership yesterday and they're like, yeah, we're gonna have to uh, wait until we take another super class to figure out because they don't even know how to flash the keys to the car. So I did see that there is a little key symbol right here. So I'm wondering if it's maybe one of the fuses just decided to blow. I'm gonna see if that fixes it. If it is, then that's the problem and that's why I can't use my key fob. So we'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty, so I got the fuse fixed, but my dumbass last night while at the track, before I thought it was one of the main fuses, I thought it was just the fuse that's inside of this. Well, that ended up not being the case. And when I opened this, the little fucking metal tip flew out and uh, it was pretty dark so I tried to look under the seats but I can't find it. So I had to go inside Walmart and get me one and hopefully this all f works now. That way I can go and tune my car. So the moment of truth, finally it's fixed. The fuse in there is fixed. So let's see what happens. Holy shit, it finally works again, guys. I got it to work. So now I can charge my laptop, charge my phone. That way I can do some tuning today and we'll see what happens. So the plan for tomorrow's track day is that I'm gonna turn up the boost and have everything charged this time. Last night, when we did our 10.8 last night, our boost, yeah, our boost was only 1819 up up at the top. Um, even in fourth gear, it was 1819. I ended up turning down the boost because two days ago it was really really cold, and it completely raised the boost, and I was over boosting like crazy. Um, so I pulled about five from the turbine table, and it lowered the boost enough to do the pass, um, but like I said last night, I didn't have anything charged, so I couldn't make any changes, I couldn't add the boost. I normally run about 20, 21 up top, so tomorrow it's time to turn up the boost and hopefully break that 10-8 curse and get a little bit higher. Right now I'm about to edit some videos, get some video guys footage out for you guys um, from the races last night. Stay tuned for the next video, all right? If you enjoyed this video, Please hit the like button, please subscribe, and I'll be back soon.